大家好，我是 Martin， and this is Short Stories， brought to you by the Taichung Kedah Language Center. Today's short story is called Animal Crossings. It's about a new method to help animals and humans live together more harmoniously.、Hmm. Come to think of it, there is almost no harmony between humans and nature at all. This is because in order for human society to thrive, we have to reshape our environment to sh- to suit our needs. This often comes at nature's expense. Well, it doesn't have to always be that way. Today we will hear about a new idea to help our animal friends cope with our concrete developments. Before I tell you about this new idea, though, I need to first tell you about the vocabulary and the sentences. Then, after I've finished telling you the story, I will tell you four listening comprehension questions. Are you ready? Then let's do it. Vocabulary: devastation, devastation. The oil spill caused great devastation to the Gulf Coast. Sustain. Sustain. A cup of coffee in the morning isn't enough to sustain Gary until lunchtime. Sacrifice. Sacrifice. Tommy sacrificed his weekend to help Mary move into her new apartment. Urbanization, urbanization. Eastern China has experienced significant urbanization in the last twenty years. Variation, variation. There is wide variation in how some English words sound due to people's accents. Involve. Involve. The evidence showed that Jason was involved in the robbery. I knew it. Jason cannot be trusted. Injury. Injury. Unfortunately, Eddie's injury was fatal. Property. Property. The will clearly states that all of the dead man's property belongs to his wife. Predator. Predator. This national park is inhabited by lions, wolves, and other predators. Costly. Costly. In most countries, it is quite costly to hire a lawyer. End of vocabulary. Beginning of story. Wildlife corridors help save animals from becoming roadkill. Human activities have long wreaked havoc on wildlife, creating habitat loss and devastation. In order to sustain rapid human population growth, the construction of buildings, highways, and other man-made structures was seen as a necessary evil. By sacrificing animal and plant habitats for urbanization, smaller gene pools for animals has become the norm, and less genetic variation for animals means. Their chances of survival are limited. Creatures of all shapes and sizes have met their fate due to our high-speed vehicles, especially on roads with heavy traffic. According to the Humane Society of the United States, millions of animals die in car accidents every year in the U.S. alone. Consider also the fact that a U.S. study in 2009 showed that traffic accidents 
involving wildlife cost 8 billion US dollars a per year in injuries and property damage. Thus, wildlife corridors where, where animals can cross the road safely play an important role in preventing collisions and protecting animals. Corridors of varying size and style, like overpasses and underpasses, are built to accommodate different behaviors between species. Most animals will typically not use the same tunnel their predators use. Even though there are significant benefits, corridors are costly, so they are either made from abandoned bridges or not built at all. The use of wildlife crossings has been shown to decrease the rate of animal vehicle collisions all over the world. In Taiwan, the Yangmingshan National Park built five tunnels for animals in 2004, and the rate of animal-related accidents went down by 35%. In 2008, Taiwan's Ministry of Transportation and Communications undertook a three-year project to build wildlife corridors on eight national highways. A special tunnel was even designed for land crabs to cross in Pingdong County. End of story. Beginning of questions. Number one. Why is urbanization bad for wildlife? A. It destroys animal and plant habitats. B. It creates smaller gene pools in animal species. C. Animals die in traffic accidents. D. All of the above. Well, if you haven't figured out now, the answer is D. All of the above. All of these things are causing harm to wildlife. Question 2. What did a U.S. study in 2009 show? A. Millions of animals die in car accidents each year. B. Wildlife corridors are costly. C. Traffic accidents involving animals cost 8 billion U.S. dollars per year. D. Wildlife corridors don't work. The answer is C. Traffic accidents involving animals cost 8 billion US dollars per year. Now you may be confused. You may think it is A. A is not the correct answer. The question was about a US study in 2009. It, the Humane Society, which is an organization that is privately run, they did a study before that that said millions of animals die each year. So this is not about that study. This is about the US study in 2009. And it showed that traffic accidents involving wildlife cost 8 billion US dollars per year in injuries and property damage. Question three. What is a wildlife corridor? A. A bridge or tunnel that lets an wild animals get across highways safely. B. A hallway for animals to pass through buildings. C. A national park. D. A wildlife rescue organization. The answer is A. A bridge or tunnel that lets wild animals get across highways safely. Question 4. What happened after five wildlife corridors were built in Yangmingshan National Park? A. Animal-related accidents increased by 35%. B. Animal-related accidents decreased by 35%. C. Animal-related accidents did not change. D. 
35% more land crabs survived in Pingdong County. Well, we know it's not D because we're talking about Yangmingshan, not Pingdong. So the answer is, of course, B. Animal related accidents decreased, that means go down, by 35%. So that's the end of today's short story. Uh, it's about an idea to help animals survive human society because we are just kind of destroying everything in the environment, aren't we? Well, what can you do? Well, we can do this. We can build wildlife corridors to help animals survive. And this is actually a very good thing for some uh, countries that have large animals, such as the United States. Ax car accidents involving deer are quite common where I come from. And if you do not know anything about deer, they can be quite large and weigh up to, I don't know how many kilos, 400 pounds? That's a lot. Uh, if you, I have no idea how many kilos it is, but it's heavy. And if you hit them straight on, they can damage your windshield and possibly even kill you. So, yeah, this is a pretty good idea. It not only saves animals, but it can also save humans as well. Okay, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.